no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. So I constantly hear from many people in the YouTube fitness community the importance of maintaining scapular retraction. And in case you guys don't know what scapular retraction is, it's the act of pinching your shoulder blades together. So my shoulder blades are in my back here, so when I'm pinching them together or retracting them, I'm doing this, I'm bringing them back, pinching them back like this. And Many people, they say to maintain that scapular retraction, but there's some exercises where that can actually be harmful. And I'm gonna give you one exercise where doing, maintaining that scapular retraction is harmful, and that exercise is the seated cable row, where you're sitting down, you're, you're holding that cable, and you're pulling it towards your body, and then back. And many people, they say to maintain that pinching and your shoulder blades the whole time while you're doing that exercise. And it's not actually good for your shoulders to do that, and here's why. But before I explain why, let me ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to extend your arm behind your body like this. So extend your arm behind your body. Go like that. And now, once you've done that and you've kept track of how much range you get, now I want you to pinch your shoulder blades back. So pinch your shoulder blades back now. So pinch them back. And now extend your arm behind your body while you pinch, have your shoulder blade pinch back. And you'll notice you get less range now. You can't go back as far. Because when you've retracted your scapula, you are now limiting the ability of your humerus, or because your shoulder is a ball and socket joint, it has this right here. So you have your humeral head right here. This is the shoulder socket, the glenoid fossa. So when you've retracted your, sh your shoulder blades, you've brought these together. Now your shoulder, your, the top part of your humerus, your femoral head, it can't extend back as far because you've limited the range. And that's not good because now you're creating more pressure when you extend your arm back behind your body because we know that when you do shoulder extension or bring your arm back behind your body, the head of your humerus right here, it glides forward in your shoulder socket. And that's putting extra pressure now on the front part of your shoulder capsule. And that's where many people have issues, their anterior or their front shoulder capsule. Because over time, you can get ligament creep because your shoulder capsule is composed of ligaments. So over time, you get that creep or that slow, slow stretching over time from you doing that. Retracting and then doing that shoulder extension. And dips going far down can cause that too with that shoulder extension. So. Once you've got that ligament creep going on, that over time can lead to uh, shoulder injuries over time. Because your shoulder is an inherently unstable joint. You've got mostly your ligaments and your rotator cuffs supporting you there because you're, you're, you've got this big ball and this little socket. It's not like your hip where your, shoulders, where your socket's much deeper and you have much more support. Your hip joint is much more stable than your shoulder. They're both ball and socket joints but your shoulder can move around like crazy. I can move around my shoulder far more than I can move around my hip. And over time, as that shoulder capsule begins to stretch and stretch and stretch, now other structures are gonna have to compensate and overwork to make up for that lost stability. Like your rotator cuff, which is four muscles, your rotator cuffs, your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus, your teres minor, your subscapularis, those are the four rotator cuff muscles, your sits muscles. So those muscles are gonna have to overfire now to make up for that lost stability. And also your long head of the biceps, since it crosses the front of your shoulder, that muscle's gonna have to overfire too. So now you can get biceps tendonitis, you can get rotator cuff tendonitis, and you can also develop something over time called impingement syndrome. Because when those muscles are overworking a lot, now you can get the, the, there's not much space in this, in this area right here. This is called your subacromial space. So once those muscles, your rotator cuff and your biceps, they begin to get inflamed, now when you bring your arm up, those structures can get caught in that space as you bring your arm up over your head. So now those structures can get caught, they can get jammed, and then you can get something like a rotator cuff tear over time, which definitely isn't a good thing to have. So, I'm telling you to not retract your scapula the whole time while doing the seated cable row. Here's what you want to do. What you want to do is just do
Do the exercise in a normal manner. When you bring the cable towards you, retract then. Don't retract the whole time. So when I'm bringing the cable towards me, and I'm bringing it back, now I retract. So when I do ex shoulder extension, or bringing my arm back behind me, I retract here. So I'm retracting right there. I'm not retracting and maintaining that the whole time because that's extra pressure on the front part of my shoulder. So that's what I thought I'd tell you guys in this video. All right guys, hopefully you found that video informative. This has been Jeff once more orienting your fitness in the right direction. And if you like the video, thumb it up, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys Later.